to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is the epic return of the MDT Battle Royal, Brad. We got 50 superstars, okay? One thing we got to get cleared out of the way right now is that the MDT Battle Royal Championship for maybe the third or fourth time, I think. I don't know. I, I need somebody to go back and watch the complete history of the MDT Battle Royal. I need somebody to actually go make a website where we break down every statistical category and, like, you know, how many times somebody's won how many times they've been in a battle royal, how many times they've been eliminated on the first swipe, how many appearances they have, how many total, you know what I'm saying? Break down every battle royal ever. I think that would be absolutely epic. But here's the MDT battle royal, man. For the third or fourth time ever, Jason Voorhees has had to vacate the MDT battle royal championship. He did not vacate the horror championship, so when October comes around, Jason Voorhees will be the champion entering the month of October or September whenever we start those videos back up. However, today the MDT... Well, Brad, that is example number one of why it's been so damn long since we've done an MDT Battle Royal, man. They just, like, good God, it's this stupid-ass ring, too, man. Like, the padding, the padding is, like, a little bit thick, and then you try to stand the figure on there, and they don't want to stand. They fall over, they knock over the rest, and then I'm just like, ah! But today, like I was saying, the MDT Battle Royal Championship has returned in all of its glory, Brad. We got some former champions in here. We got some former multi-time champions. We have AEW figures featured for the first time. I'm only debuting Jericho and Orange Cassidy. We may get the rest of the crew in here later on, but I did want to just put those guys in here for now. We'll see how they compete. I mean, they could fall off the damn front in the very beginning and it'd be all over with, which leads me into the rules of the Battle Royal, man. So first of all, we do have 50 figures featured. We also have some women featured. We have Lita, Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss featured here today. I don't think we've ever had a women's champion, I don't think. However, 50 men here, if you fall off the front and you fall on the floor, if any part of your body touches the floor, you're automatically eliminated. The only other way to be eliminated is for both feet to touch the floor. That's your toes, the bottom of your heels, flat-footed. If both of your feet hit the floor, you are eliminated. Also, if you have pants cuffs, like Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke Nakamura, you know, guys with long pants cuffs, some Sometimes those pants cuffs will prevent people's feet from touching the floor. So if both of your pants cuffs, like the bottom of them, are touching the ground, you're also eliminated to eliminate that little disparity between the pants cuffs rule. Long-term fans of the channel know the pants cuffs rule. Anyways, we're going to do swipes until there's only one person remaining, and that person will be claimed the MDT Battle Royal Champion. Hopefully, this series will return, and I'm going to have to figure out a new setup, man, because this setup right here, it's all crammed and stuff, and I feel like I'm suffocating. So without further ado, let's get into our our first swipe before these figures fall the hell over and I have to blow up my house. All right. Let's get it with started with Steve with swipe number one, Brad. Leave your prediction on who's going to win down in the comment section below, and let's find the hell out. All right, here we go. I'm going to get a good swipe here. Lamps all in my mouth. I can't even, like, get to them. Hopefully, I can get in here and get it all going here. Also, these figures are going to hit my tattoo. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah, 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 yeah. let's just shut the hell up and hit the figures. Why don't we? All right, good, that's real good. Well, a lot of idiots hit the floor, I can tell you that. So it looks like to me, guys, that the back portion back there, we do have a lot of guys that survived, no doubt about it. Like, that's a pretty good chunk, unless they fell off the back. I don't I don't think anybody fell off the back. We will double check to make sure, but here in the floor, man, we had, uh, oh my God, look at Orange Cassidy, Brad. Face put, how the hell did, I mean, I guess, I mean, he didn't really go, I mean, he went from what, that corner over there, over, and I did swipe to the, I mean, I, you know, I, I guess I can see how that happened, but Shane McMahon is touching, you got Jericho eliminated, Becky Lynch, Shinsuke, John Cena, Bray Wyatt, Jeff Hardy, my boy Finn Balor over there. I mean, we had a lot of great talent eliminated on the first swipe on the ground there. Orange Cassidy, though, is in. I gotta make sure I don't forget about him. He landed on the lamppost. He was not touching the floor. Remember, it doesn't matter if your feet don't hit or not. If you touch the floor, you're automatically gone. Now, let's get into the dissection of all this madness over here and find out who is eliminated. It looks like Heath Slater is eliminated. Undertaker Drew Gulak over there. John Morrison. Let's make sure that we keep everybody kind of clear here. That way I can get all these eliminations and we don't mess anything up. It looks like the trash was taken out in the first round here with Trash Corbin. You got Mojo Raleigh, Booker T over here. Eliminated, eliminated. It does look like Goldberg is also eliminated. Alexa Bliss, I think. 
thing. Yeah, I mean, both of her heels are touching there. Unfortunately, she is gone. Seth Rollins is even gone. Sting is gone. Sami Zayn's boot, however, is slightly up. So Sami Zayn is actually in somehow. Lita, unfortunately, gone. So all of our women's talent eliminated on the first swipe. Not uh, not a good uh, not a good first injury for all those ladies. I think we've had women compete before. We just never had a winner. Over here, we have Jinder Mahal, Ryback, Goldberg, all eliminated there. Aiden English, almost. I mean, good guy. Who isn't eliminated? We should have just done who isn't eliminated at this point. Jinder Mahal, gone. Aiden English over here, gone. Macha, okay. This one's kind of a toughie because his tassels are touching, but the bottom of his feet aren't. But the reason that the bottom of his feet are are the tassels. I'll give you another chance, Macho. I'll give you another chance. We'll see how you do there. Ricochet's left foot is actually up, so he is good. It's like barely off the ground. Let's see if we can get a good angle on that. You guys can see that. There's like a little sliver of space there. Okay, Braun Strowman is safe over here. Ryback is eliminated. Daniel Bryan eliminated. Buddy Murphy eliminated. It looks like, oh my god, look at Aleister Black over there barely surviving. There's a tiny gap for Aleister Black. Daniel Bryan gone, Ryback gone, Buddy Murphy gone, Samoa Joe safe. Again, Ricochet and Macho Man, I'm going to give them a pass. Well, Ricochet was in, but Macho Man was not. Angelo Dawkins is gone. Rey Mysterio is up. Ziggler. Ziggler's foot is like barely up. Look at that right foot. Right heel is not touching. Christian's gone. Bobby Lashley's also not gone. His foot is up. So Ziggler and Lashley are good. Rey is good. Buddy Murph is not. Looks like all three of those guys are safe, but Christian and Angelo Dawkins are gone. And then Double J in the back, it looks like nobody is eliminated back there, so we're all good. Let's go for swipe number two. All right, guys, on to swipe number two. I did not like cleaning all that up, but uh, I think we have, what, 24? Let me, let's count them real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we had 27 eliminations in that first round. Now, typically, if we already had the champion, this is where we would insert the champion. So typically, the champion is void of having to be in the first swipe, but since there's no champion, we didn't have to do that so there's no champion insert so i'm just going to shut the hell up and hit it for swipe number two how did I not even touch Edge? How's that even possible? How's that possible? So the only elimination that fell off the front will be Macho Man down there. So Macho Man will be gone, unfortunately. Now let's check into the rest. Now, Rey Mysterio and Jason Jordan also did not fall out, so I know that them and Edge are going on to the next round, which is pretty intense, man. It looks like Braun Strowman is gonna be gone over here. It does look like both feet are touching on that side, unfortunately, for Braun Strowman. It does look like Ricochet also is touching right here in the front. Bobby Roode, Samoa Joe. Joe, Sami Zayn, Bobby Lashley, looks like Bret Hart, Orange Cassidy yet again riding the wave here on top of Ziggler who looks to be eliminated, Kurt Angle definitely eliminated, Cedric Alexander on top there, is that Carl Anderson back there also up or is he not up, I can't, I, I think that he is also touching, it looks like almost everybody right here, Mustafa Ali, Aleister Black, Matt Hardy, Brock Lesnar, I can't, I'm pretty sure that left foot's touching, I think it is, and then even Randy Orton back there bro, like we literally eliminated almost everybody everybody on this swipe, which is absolutely absurd. The only ones remaining, it looks like, is Cedric, Orange Cassidy, Jason Jordan, Rey Mysterio, and Edge. We literally, everybody who got hit out of the ring almost got eliminated on that swipe right then. So that's that's pretty outstanding, to be honest with you. But let's set everything back up, guys, and find out if this next swipe will be our last or if we'll have one more swipe. We'll have to find out. All right, guys, we're down to the final five. Now, I'm not sure if, if three rounds is the fastest we've ever gone through an MDT Battle Royal. Of course, we don't know if this is going to be the exact last one. One, but more than likely, this is usually how we go. Usually on the final swipe, guys, we do a little small tap, so I'll do a little, you know, a little mini tap. I have my phone slow mowing this, and whichever figure hits last, so if any part of your body touches, you are automatically eliminated once you hit the table. So it doesn't have to be two feet. It's as soon as you hit the table, you are gone, and whoever the last one is to hit the table will be the winner of the MVT Battle Royal Championship. Again, I have my phone slow mo videoing everything, so once we, uh, you know, once we hit it right here, It'll capture everything. I can review the footage, see who exactly hits last, and we can crown our new champion, guys. But three swipes is crazy. I did not expect this many people to get eliminated that fast, like right off the bat like that. So I don't know. We may have to increase the number of people participating, but we usually keep it like 50 to 55, sometimes 60. We went as high as like 120 before, but I don't know. Let's shut the hell up and see if we can crown our champion right here, guys. And let's get started with our little mini tap to crown our champion. All right, I think that was a really good one. I think that was a good one. It seemed like everybody got hit at the same time. It kind of fell at the same time. I'm going to review the footage, guys, and we'll find out who won the MDT Battle Royal.
All right, guys, this is probably like the closest thing of all time. Like, look at this right here. Look at this. What in the hell? How the hell am I supposed to crown a champion off this? I don't think it's Jason Jordan or Rey Mysterio. But I can't tell if it's Cassidy or Edge. I may have to super duper slow-mo it and not be able to crown a champion until I plug it into the editing software. It almost looks like Cassidy. It looks like Cassidy like kind of lands on Rey Mysterio and then touches after Edge hits. It's so close, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely put it in super duper slow-mo for you guys so you guys can check it out and we'll review the footage and see. Well, Brad, after further review, it looks like the new MDT Battle Royal Champion is Orange Cassidy. Freshly squeezed is now the owner of the MDT Battle Royal Championship. The debut of the AEW figures and Orange Cassidy outlasts them all for the MDT Battle Royal title. How insane was that Battle Royal? I can't tell you how close that was, man. Like, seeing it in super duper slow-mo was the only way, really, that I could even have a sliver of a chance to seeing who won that thing. It was so very close. It was insanely close. But I think Cassidy actually brought it out at the end there, guys. You can let me know down below if you think it was Edge. Should we have a rematch? Let me know down below, guys. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the Battle Royal. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't cross the line. You cross the line. I've been